Hello again, people. Getting tongue-tied here. Thanks for joining me again. And uh, like earlier, like I told you, I was going to film inside of a supermarket. But uh, for the moment, I'm outside of the supermarket and just wanted to show you here some of these uh, buildings here. Oh, looks like some kind of a military truck as well. I'll show that. So, but this building right behind me right now, um, when I first came here, it was uh, around uh, one year and two weeks ago. Uh, I came like on the 4th of December. It's the 30th of December now, one year later. And this building, they'd uh, done the foundation. I think they, had, they were working on the first floor, uh, second floor, something like that. And all these other buildings here were not even started. So, so I'm just kind of showing you you know what's been done here since like one year I think I came here it was probably on this day or right around this time when I actually came uh, and showed this so it's actually one year of one year of work all of this uh, what you're looking at so I could take a big walk through here you know and show you all these buildings which they've done in one year and some over here that are less finished if anybody is living in these buildings yet, I don't know. You know, as you see, they have probably, if, if you can see it in the distance, there's some uh, children's playground there. Oh, look at this. This is a... <laughs> People watching me like I'm some kind of spy. Looks like a Russian truck. <laughs> so very nice. Look at these guys over here. Probably, I don't know if they're purposefully looking like they're threatening or not but I'm not threatened at all of course <laughs> I've got a past yes I've got a past I was in the army as well you know I didn't smart off to any commanders but uh, nothing like that I knew how to play the game but I don't uh, I guess what's the word you I don't take crap from people I don't know some guy starts to come and get really tough with me. I, you know, I shouldn't be that way. I'm trying to be more, I don't know, I guess it's tolerant. You know, you get older, somebody's going to come and kick, kick your backside. But anyhow, that's all I wanted to show outside here. And uh, the rest is going to be inside showing you the store. And uh, I'll go over prices and things like that when I get there. So see you soon. So... Well, I'm not inside. I'm still showing you outside. This is the uh, store I'm going to go into. I believe it might be Dutch. I'm not positive. But it's, uh, it's called Corona. And uh, whenever there's a restaurant in these stores, which there always is, this one's not as good as the one or one of them that I know of in Minsk. It was a fabulous, fabulous restaurant. But let me walk a little bit closer over here. You can see the name, I, I hope. Too bad it's not at nighttime because then you'll maybe see the Christmas tree lit up, you know. It's Corona. Now it's blocked by the Christmas tree. Okay, well anyhow, now I'll go into the entrance and walk in and show you what it's like here. Starting from right now. Hurry across. Crowds and more crowds. Ah, what a better way to start the alcohol. <laughs> Not so much into it. Look, you can even get a belt after buying your booze. Something that's sort of strange, this is a, just a little section. They have a huge beer section, but over here there's some. It's a, this is a, a Czechoslovakian beer. I believe this is a, looks like a, a yeast beer from Belarus, of course. And this is some kind of, I don't know, 3% or 4% alcoholic drink. Let's look at some prices. Miller beer. Look at this. 
Oh, so much for sanctions. It's less than one dollar, which is way too much for that. I think, in fact, I don't even see a price on this beer. But uh, probably the same price as a bottle of Miller. It's kind of a joke. Here's something it looks like. It's uh, maybe that's Czech beer as well. I don't know. That's like, uh, uh, I don't know, 70 cents or something. This is even less. Looks like German Colt Weissbier, which means it's made from yeast, or I mean, it has yeast in it. So it's cloudy when you put it in a glass. But this is sort of like, I don't even know what, what all this stuff is. Why this stuff is maybe uh, things they want to sell people. Oh, here's a chocolate bar. Let me just tell you, like if it, if it says uh, 260 or, seven, or 270, uh, two rubles and 70, that makes one dollar. So uh, you can do the math. This is 180, 72% cocoa. Uh, some prices, I don't know. This one, I don't know, it's from Turkey. Some kind of a candy bar with pistachios in it. A little bit expensive for my taste, I guess. I've had that. It's pretty good, though. There's champagne and water. Let me turn this around. A nice Czechoslovakian beer. What is two rubles? If two seventy means one dollar, so I don't know. What does that make a half a liter bottle? You be the judge. Some kind of spices of all kinds of oils, cooking oil. Some other juices, expensive juices, they have much cheaper. Basil, I believe. Basilica. Some more spices and mixes. fishing here if you want to. Even soldiers go shopping. <laughs> More beer. I think that's a French beer. Oh, here's a Russian beer down here. Baltica 3. Shrimp, wow, it's kind of expensive. That's per kilogram. 93 rubles per kilogram. It's eggs, I guess it's that's about a dollar something for 10. They don't have dozens, they go by 10 eggs here. Really? Here's uh, some duck or something. Who knows? I'm not 
some great big connoisseur on food. So here's some, what is this, mostly canned meats or fish? I think it's all canned fish, all different types of fish. Oh, came at the wrong time. Basketball player looking guy. All sorts of canned fish. So frozen fish. Don't squeeze the Charmin. Whoops. Plenty of toilet paper. If you eat too much, you can continue to wipe, I guess. Don't worry about that. So, more beer. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a Christmas beer. Actually, pretty good. Shampoos and all that sort of stuff here. More frozen things. More soldiers, frozen vegetables of some sorts. Strawberries, pelmeni. Oh, what a madhouse. Look at too many people here. Well, as you see, you see that the sanctions are really working and there's no food here and people are so poor that there's nobody here. The sh shops are empty. Nobody can go shopping because they don't have any money. Yeah, that's, yeah, the West has really had a bad effect on things over here. And as you see, as you know what they tell you, how bad it is here in Belarus. Yeah. Oh, 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 maloko. Milk. Sear. Just cheese, all kinds of different types of cheese. You know. Yeah, not a tremendous selection, actually. Let me think here. Oops. <laughs> There's milk over there. Yogurts, such things. Some tea, coffee. Coffees, I think. Okay. 
so many people here, I don't even know. You can't walk around. Crowds. Okay. Place I like. This is a juice. All of this is juice on the side here. All different types of juices. So this is about a dollar. Strawberry juice. So all these about about it almost a dollar. It's actually the less expensive uh, Belarusian brand. Also less than a dollar. Multi fruit. So you know, like I said, if it's two sixty nine it would be if two seventy that would be one dollar US. So this is uh, less than a dollar. I'm terrible with math. This is about a dollar. I normally don't buy juice unless it's under three rubles. So, and most all of these right now are, but of course you get the bigger quantities down below. And uh, pineapple juice. Oh, that's a little over a dollar. Some of these are more expensive brands. I'll tell you, I love this one, coconut and mango. Price is up really high. Last year it was much less. So price looks like it gets a little higher as you go down this way here. Uh -huh. Some bottled water. They have a whole aisle of bottled water, of course. <laughs> it's like a Russian soldier. Here's some wine. Here, at least fine Belarusian wine. A very good price. More alcohols over there. Moldova, wine from Moldova, and some of these other places. Huh? Let me try to find the Belarusian wine. Where in the heck is that? Don't know. Where was Belarusian wine? That's <laughs> true. Oh, this is Belarusian wine here. This is uh, German, of course, Glühwein. Belarusian down, look. Seven rubles. And actually, very good. Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a very... I'm going to have to come back for that. Very good. Belarusian wine did not used to be that great, but it is good now. Now here's where, uh, that's more alcohol. Here, here's where the beer starts. Some American beer. There's some, um, what do you call it, uh, from Belgium, beer from Belgium. And there's uh, Germany, Halana. Here's some Russian beer, Czech beer. Here's Belarusian beer, which is actually much better. You know, much less than a dollar for a half a liter. So, wow, that's a big bottle there. Holy moly. So Belarusian beers. Some over there. And there's some more beer. Some cold beer. Some beer we saw somewhere else anyway. And then there's some more beer. We've seen Miller already somewhere. Ah, 2.19. Uh, much cheaper than in the other place, I think. Maybe it was different bottles. Some big bottles, boy. Litskaya, that's a Belarusian beer down here. It's a big bottle. 690. Litskaya, right here. Must be some kind of alcoholic drink with lemonade or something. Ah, Star Opramen. I love that. That's a good beer from Czech Republic.
bottled waters. Look, they don't have to take chips out of washing machines because they have chips right here. Yes, and might even be made in Belarus. Oh, nice bottles. Look at that. Hmm. I wonder if that's a nice beer in a blue bottle. Mm -hmm. And cat food. Different types here. So, good one for a cat. I suppose. I didn't take you to the bread section, did I? The candy. Stolitsnia, whatever it's called, that vodka. Some candy. Chocolates, Belarusian chocolate too. Mm. Oh, candies. This place has fabulous bread, so probably have to end up getting some bread. So I can never get over there. <laughs> I like this one right here. I don't even know. Well, it gets too crowded here, bumping all over into people and everything. Easy. Can't get through here. People in lines. And Mangoes, plums, grapes, pomegranate, apples. Oops. 
Well, you see how rough it is here in the Belarus. We don't have any food or anything here. You know, people are all poor. You know, can't afford to buy anything. That's why nobody's in the supermarkets. It's tough, you know. Yeah, it's really tough. Because even soap. Look at nobody's here buying soap. It must, must make mean that they're all pretty dirty or something, I guess. At least that's what the West is going to tell you. Anyway, well, you you saw it, you know, and you can just kind of look. This is uh, still 2022, and then you kind of know that you've been a little bit hornswaggled in the West about what things are like over here and how how the sanctions are working and all that sort of stuff. Well, well, well. Anyway, it's so crowded here, but this is a, uh, like I'm telling you, this is a medium-sized town in Belarus, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the, probably the biggest supermarket in this town. You know, we have some other really nice supermarkets, too. I should take you there, and this one's not the, the how do I say, the least expensive ones. They have some where the prices are much better. I find it kind of unbelievable, but... Uh, you get an impression anyway that things are not like what everybody's telling you here in Belarus. And uh, anyhow, I'm, I'll be having more content like this in the future. So, so I suggest that you subscribe, and then you find out how much more you you've been lied to about how terrible everything is over here, and we're all suffering, and uh, then there's no food, and nobody has any money, and things like that. So, anyway. That's all I want to say for right now. So, um, yeah, till the next time. I'll probably make a video. I don't know. I have a couple more days. This is just Friday, so. And uh, I have a few more days off, so. Anyway, till the next time. <laughs>